What is going on YouTube? Flotfish here, and I'm bringing you a Black Ops gameplay commentary on Crack uh, Domination. I start off with the M field with the dual mag, sleight of hand, ghost, and um, I believe it is Estrella and Ninja, and then I end up switching, or it's Marathon instead, and I end up switching it out to the um, Spaz 12 silenced with a Python ACOG scope, um, and I forget what else is on that class. I know Scavenger, Sleight of Hand, and check out this failed quad slash triple. Um, no, I, I got to. I was pretty happy. I ended up getting the third, and like the assist on the third guy, and this guy just kind of took no damage from it because he had Black Jacket on, and yeah, I kind of got destroyed. So yeah, switch out to the Spaz here. Um, so kind of just nice little gameplay um pretty memorable uh, enough about talking about it it's on to the main point of the conversation for this which is talking about black ops 2 and i actually it's the first ever game i've pre-ordered um mainly because when i traded in a game i got like uh i don't even know how to describe it i got like instead of like for example in that situation instead of like getting killing one of those guys i got three of them to kill um uh, EB Games had that stupid. Oh, if you pre-order a game, you'll get an extra like it was like ten dollars towards towards a trade-in, and I traded in Skyrim, so I'm pretty much getting Black Ops half off. Um, while I am, so that's pretty nice. And you know, I was debating about pre-ordering it, and I never saw that guy. Just throwing that out there, I never saw him once when I was actually playing this game. Um, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty kind of just. I was excited when I pre-ordered it, uh, it's a big deal for me because I'm actually more excited for the campaign than I am for the actual um, multiplayer. And the multiplayer's got great aspects to it, it's got the fact that you can go in and you can, um, whatchamacallit, uh, like you have unlimited abilities on your classes, you can do whatever you want with them pretty much. And I definitely will be trying out the shotguns and getting used to them because I just enjoy using shotguns. And as you can see there, they're pretty fun to use. You can just put three shots with the spaz and yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, what else? What else was there? There is, But the campaign is something I'm pretty excited for just because you can fail missions now. And I would have really liked this quad feed. Um, it would I thought it would have been pretty cool. I actually wish I had flashers on, but um, yeah, that was it's pretty much out of blobs. I want something unique. I don't want the same old cookie cutter cod. Um, if I were to compare it to other games, I want it to stand out. I want it to say this is completely different. Like this is Black Ops is kind of a mix of is the best of both worlds of World at War and um, World at War and Modern Warfare 2 in my opinion, they took a lot of the aspects like the close quarters kind of things, the um, the amount of kill streaks, and they added the maps, they made it kind of, they added second chance, which last stand was in um, Call of Duty, but here we go for a nice little troll, um, this guy's kind of sitting around here, so we're just going to kind of jump around him, stand in front, run around, and then end up shooting him, so pretty, pretty funny little thing there. Uh, I just figured I'd post that or talk about that because it's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, Black Ops had a lot of good stuff. At the same time, it had a lot of stuff that needed work on. Um, it's definitely, I hope, my one hope is that um, Black Ops 2 runs smoothly on the PlayStation. And especially out of release because we had the major problem where... Um, Upon release, you could not get into a game. In PlayStation, you could not. Um, it wasn't running in full 30 frames per second. But yeah, so I'm picking that up on the 13th, I believe. And pretty excited for that. Um, I don't know how much I'll be posting because it's getting into exam time. Definitely going to study for my exams and go ham on them. Um, I hope I go ham on them. But yeah, so I'll probably be uploading less that day. Unless I just pre-record a bunch of stuff right away, but which I might end up doing. And as you can see here, I'm definitely pushing the objectives. And that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to in Black Ops 2 is that you get rewarded more for um, 
getting like controlling the objectives and um, from what I've seen at least you get points you get like actual points from uh, like capture capturing things and team killings or not team killing uh like the slayer role has kind of been diminished a little bit you can kind of go on the tear but as all of them were saying it's not as important as what it used to be like uh, you could used to go in and be able to win games just off killing people and it sounds like you won't be able to do that anymore which I am pretty excited for uh, if you ask me I think it's a great improvement because um, I tend to play the objectives pretty pretty hard like cut off the angle areas and that's kind of what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of protecting the objective and making sure they they can't really set up and one thing I forgot to mention is my kill streaks I am only running the spy plane and the napalm so I think this score has a pretty good outcome considering what I was running for kill streaks um, as you can see here they just keep on coming up the staircase and the scavenger and the spaz 12 you can just pretty much feed them bullets day after day and I guess the other thing I want to see is shotguns that are actually powerful because I don't know how many times I've had underpowered shotguns or like I want snipers that can just um and I want snipers that can kind of be reliable um something that you can quick scope with but it takes a certain skill to quick scope with um because in black ops it was really hard like those who were good at it were insane like phenomenal um quick scoping in it was probably one of the toughest things to do um but when you got the hang of it you could do it day and night and that's one of the things i hope they do like enough to give the snipers like not enough to make the snipers op but enough to make it um like applicable to actually use the snipers and yeah so pretty much that's about it i just want I just want it to be fun more than anything and you're not going to see me just try to post insane gameplays you're going to see me post gameplays that are that are fun that are unique that have something that um, makes them special and that's kind of just what I'm going to start posting actually it's I'd rather post stuff that I had fun in because I just feel like it makes it more memorable um, this game was definitely pretty memorable because I know I did pretty good with the shotgun and Using a shotgun and blobs is it takes a certain amount of skill. And especially without kill streaks getting the score I did and playing objectives, I excuse me, I was quite proud of this game. Um it's I'm finally getting my shot back, my sniping's just a little bit off. Um once I once I get that sorted out we might see a bit of a montage pre blops. Um hopefully hopefully I can get like a short two minute one done. Um so yeah, look out for that. Um, as far as Call of Duty goes on this channel, it will be, like I said, it's going to be unique. It's not going to be the same old cookie cutter stuff. Um, I will be doing parodies just because I have a couple that I want to do. I just need to kind of get the footage for them. And I pretty much just need to sing the lyrics and we're good for them. So as you can see, a lot of them here, like, I don't know, the other team was pretty bad, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, they weren't very good um, like I was able to I got lucky right here that this guy couldn't hit me I just kind of spammed and got the headshot and yeah then get noob tubed <laughs> but that, that pretty much will wrap up this game we ended up doing pretty well I ended up doing pretty well I think I went 40 and 16 with three caps and I don't know if I got any defense or not but I definitely played pretty aggressive and pushed the objective hard which is kind of nice and let's pick up these last few kills here um, and yeah so 40 and 16 two captures one defend uh, pretty good game in my opinion hopefully you guys enjoyed this sorry for the rambling but um anyways guys if you if you did enjoy it please leave a like if you're new comment subscribe whatever um, and take it easy and enjoy that shot